Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jalen's back with another video for you guys. And I uh, appreciate you guys joining me today. We're going to be doing something a little different today. Um, now, we have done tier lists before, but we haven't done in a while. Basically, been doing a lot of reactions lately, which I do every Wednesday at 3 p.m. East Coast time. Except for last week, we dropped one on Friday, and uh, that was of Hollywood and Dead's Hourglass. So if you guys want to go check that out, link in the description. Anyway, so today it's going to be a tier list of the 2000s songs. For today's battle, it's going to be basically just one song that we're going to pick from the list here I made. Uh, yes, this is actually the first tier list I've actually put together myself. It wasn't pre-made. And we're going to use Linkin Park, for example, today as the song that's going to be uh, in a battle with all the other songs. So we got basically better, worse, and if I'm not familiar now, if you guys want to go and do this list, um, I will leave a link down below. I'm probably going to be familiar with every single song on here to a certain degree. Um, I just looked up a bunch of random songs from the 2000s or songs that I like from the 2000s and decided to put them in here. I thought this would be a lot of fun, guys. So if you guys like this kind of idea, you guys like what's going on with this channel, give me a good old subscribe if you feel. And also give me a thumbs up so it gets out to more viewers just like yourselves. And consider hitting that notification bell as well so you guys know when I'm uploading things just like this. Okay, so the first song up on the gauntlet here, if you want to call it that, um, is Swing Swing. A song, I believe from 2003, uh, off the top of my head. And uh, I heard I first heard this song, if you want a little bit of backstory on some of these two, in a video game called MVP Baseball 2003. And... Just, yeah, just played that game religiously on the PC, and it was an awesome, yeah, just one of those songs I just really love from it, really. That's simple. Um, do I like it more than in the end? I'm going to say, oof, this is actually honestly pretty tough. I really, really enjoy both songs a lot. Oh, man. I think in the end just, just has a slight edge. Oh, man. But they're, both, they're both so fun to cover, too. Let's see, uh, next one on the list, we got Afterlife by Avenged Sevenfold, one of my favorite all-time bands. If you guys know the channel well enough, you know that I talk these guys up constantly, seen them live a few times. They've played this song every single time. Sadly, I've never seen them with the Rev. But do I think this song is better than In The End or worse? Oh, man. What do I think? What do you guys think here? This is, I mean, this is honestly pretty tough. Oh, man. I think I have to go with a little bit better, to be honest with you guys. All right, first one that's better than in the end. And then the next song is the used All That I Got. Really, really good song. I first heard this in Saints Row 2 and fell in love with the song immediately, but don't like it more than in the end. That's for sure. That's an easier one. Then we got good old complicated. Let's make things a little complicated here. Actually, no, we're not going to. I don't like it as much as in the end, but I do like this song a lot. And then we're going to make things complicated here with Duality, which is a song that got me into playing music. So I have a little bit of a bias to just like this song automatically more, but let's actually give it some thought. Do I like it more than in the end? Yeah, it's going to have a slight... It, it, it's probably the bias more than anything. And then we have X's and O's, which I first heard from, I believe, Madden 07, I believe it was in. I've seen a trio, I think, three times. Yeah, three times. And I think they played it almost every single time. Uh, excellent live band, by the way. I did not get to catch them um, when they played with Black Bell and Ice Night Kills and Ocean's of White. I actually missed their set just a few weeks ago at the time of recording this video. No, I don't think it's better than In the End. And then Face Down. I forget how I first heard this song, but uh, love the song. Uh, absolute classic. Seen the band live once. Absolutely incredible live. Um, No. Feels good. Uh, this was kind of a fun one to add in. Uh, love this song a lot. The bass line is absolutely insane in this song. Just really cool, catchy song. Uh, but no. Bad Romance. Love Lady Gaga. Um, actually just saw her a few months ago at Hershey Park Stadium. She was fantastic. I had to watch from outside because I couldn't buy a ticket at the time. But uh, even just watching her right from outside the arena was awesome. But do I like it more than in the end? That, that's tough. That's a tough one there. If I, if I had to choose, like, one song, you know, for the rest of my life, in the end, or... Nah, I'm, I'm going to go with in the end. Just a slight edge. And then we have American Idiot, which was released in 2004, I believe, off the top of my head. Um, great album by Green Day. By far my favorite Green Day album. Um... Of course, you got Dookie, which is also a great album, but I still like uh, American Idiot more. But that's not what we're talking about here. So I gotta go with In the End. 
So we only have two so far that are better, in my opinion, anyway. Then we got Traps Headstrong, which is about the only song by Trap that I really, really, really can get into. I've reacted to a few songs on their channel, so if you want to see that, hey, it's on that Reactions playlist. No. No, definitely not a better song than in the end. Though. Hey, uh, this is a great classic. We're changing up genres a little bit here again. How could you not have a 2000s list without this song? Uh, no, I uh, can't be saved by Census Fail. Uh, I first heard this from Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. And that was my introduction to Census Fail. Really good band. I've never, never seen them live. I would definitely go see them live. But do I like it more than in the end? No. I Kissed the Girl by Katy Perry, you had to. This was released in 2008, so it qualified. No, but it was just kind of a fun one. And then we have Good Old Knives and Pens, which I believe came out in 2009, 2008. I could be wrong, but uh, it qualifies, at least in my book. Uh, you know I can't do a whole video without Black Velvet Rides. It always seems like you know they're in every video. Do I like it more than in the end? Whew. Man, that's tough. I just saw this song live less than two weeks ago at the time of recording this video and they played it and it was it was just yeah, it was incredible they play it almost every single time i see them oh man complicated, complicated. yeah yeah I'll, I'll, I'll give it the slight edge to be honest uh then we got paramore's misery business this is a classic from 2007 off their first record oh man i forgot how i first heard this song so i have no backstory but um i love this song so much I honestly give it the slight edge over in the end. It's two in a row. So we got four now that are better and a bunch that are not. And we have the situations by Skate to Fate, which was off their first record. The only record with Ronnie Recky on it. Um, wow. Um, what do you guys think of this one? This one's tough. I'm going to go with slightly worse, but it's not, not by much. Then we have Snoop Dogg, Drop It Like It's Hot. Absolute classic song, but definitely not better than In The End. And then I threw in Taylor Swift's uh, Teardrops on My Guitar. I haven't heard this song in years. I barely remember how it goes. It's definitely not going to be better than In The End, so I'm not going to dwell on that one. Then we have Bullet For Valentine's, Tears Don't Fall, off their debut album, The Poison. Um, I've covered this song so many times. I actually have it on the channel where I've done it live with uh, a few guys. Yeah, yeah, if you go to go check that out, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, is it better than In The End? Not quite, actually. I would actually prefer it In The End. And then we have, last but not least, we have The Black Parade by MCR. I forget how I first heard this song. Great freaking tune, by the way. Would I think it's better than In The End? No, but a great song. And that concludes it um i believe there was 22 23 songs on here so if you guys want to go make your own list uh feel free to go do so right now uh by clicking the link i'll leave a specific link down below for you guys i'd appreciate it if you guys would go do that and tell me what you guys think in the comment section as well tell me if i'm wrong or if you agree with me of course i'm open to whatever opinion you guys have and if you guys of course have any suggestions for the channel as far as covers more tier lists uh, reactions and all that fun stuff. Uh, leave them down in the comment section down below as well. I'll hear from you guys soon. Jay Adams out.